Hello everybody, I'm Kenny Brown with another one of my little tech nuggets. Now a lot of people are asking why we no longer manufacture lower control arms in the front grip kit for the 5 to 10 Mustangs. Well, the answer is pretty simple. All has to do with ball joints. This is the ball joint of a 5 to 10 Mustang and you can see <clears throat> it's an 18 millimeter shaft and the, there's a groove all the way around for the clevis bolt. Well this has proven been problematic in the past because this is a weak spot right here. In 2011, they went to a 19 millimeter uh, shaft, which you can see is beefier, but also, I turn this a little bit, you can see there's just a little bitty nick in there for the clevis bolt to go through. And it's, it's easy to position it because you just put a wrench on here and twist it around. This way you've got just a, a teeny little slit, there's no weak point, and it's a much stronger shaft. So anytime we do, we build a, a 5 to Mustang, we always upgrade to 11 to 14 spindles. Now you can, we, we just kind of, we've got a couple of different salvage yards that we talk to and we can get them from there if we, we re rebuild them and put them in. Now this is one that's going to go in, in a 2008 uh, Roush Mustang that we're totally upgrading full Kenny Brown suspension and front grip kit and of course it's going to 19 millimeter ball joints. But on this one also what we've done, we've got a brand new bearing pack along with the long ARP wheel studs, that's going to be a track car. Now if you can see all the little, little bitty dabs of any C's on there, and that's specifically because you've got, if you're taking the wheels on and off, on and off, on and off, I mean you're, you're threading down the lug nuts on and off, on and off, you've got metal on metal. Uh, and after a while they're going to start chewing on each other and you know, one of them's going to fail. So by putting a little anti C's on there or even a couple drops of, of thick oil, you're, you're lubricating the threads. First of all, you're going to get a better torque value. You don't have to torque it as high. And secondly, the studs and the, the lug nuts are going to last longer. A couple other little things. I don't know if you can see in the, in the dust cap on there, a uh, the little hole. Now, we started back in the, when we were racing the, the Fox cars, and we kept losing dust caps. <clears throat> when, the, when, the, when the brakes got hot, when, the, when the, uh, the, the calipers and the rotors got hot, what would happen is the little dust cap would blow off. So back then we started putting like, we'll drill either an eighth or three sixteenths hole in the dust cap just to relieve the pressure when it gets hot. And the 197s, there's already a hole in there, you just have to scrape it off. Just one of those little things is to keep the heat from building up and the pressure inside the wheel bearing and actually makes the wheel bearings last longer. So there you have it. If you're doing, if you're building a five to 10 Mustang, really, really consider about upgrading to the 19 millimeter ball joints, the 11 to 14 Mustangs. Like I say, you can pick it, you can pick the spindles up in, in, in uh, salvage yards, and there's virtually no difference between the 5 to 10 and 11 to 14 other than the bigger ball joint. So that's my, uh, that's my little tech nugget for today.